We actually have Wesley So now joining us. Wesley So, congratulations so much on going to the Skilling Open final. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you to all of you. I'm still very bewildered with what happened in the last game because I was uh, fighting for my life and I was uh, trying to generate some counterplay. But then he just blundered his knight in the end. So I'm still not sure what happened there. Um, what has this day been like for you, Wesley? Because you've been in winning positions, uh, as far as we can see, um, in many games here. Um, and then it has ended in draws all the, all the way here. Yeah, yeah, that's very, very, very confusing day. Uh, I think Higar and I weren't playing well. Uh, well, he obviously has to try to win in all the games, while I just have to play it safe. So in that case, uh, I have nothing to lose because it doesn't really matter whether I lose by two and a half or whether I lose by four, by three, three zero. So I just wanted to to play my game, and uh, yeah, well, not winning the first game was very disheartening, of course. So Wesley, can you talk us through that emotional journey? You mentioned nearly winning the first game, you nearly won the second one as well. How were you feeling, especially as the last game approached? <clears throat> yeah, that's true. Today has been a very confusing day. I'm, honestly, I have no idea what's happening in the end. Uh, yeah, I think taking the breather on game two was a big, a big help for me, but uh, yeah, in general, these events you want to try to to forget the last game right away, whatever happens, and move on, try to take each game as if it's the very first round. But it's not always uh, not always easy, and I think Hikaru and I are very confused already what's happening in the end. Uh, but uh, but yeah, I just try I just try to move on and, and play better. But it's always very tricky because uh, Hikaru is a very uh, tactical and very slippery, and he's he makes use of all his chances. And he never gives up. He has this tremendous fighting spirit. So he'll just keep fighting on until he doesn't have any chances left. So when we get down to a minute or, or, or two minutes on the clock, he plays just much better while I simply panic with, with very little time. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's been very confusing. So Wesley, what has kept you motivated during this tournament? Uh, during this tournament? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, first of all, I have nothing to lose, right? Because uh, after my first game with uh, Taymor, I realized I probably should be out of the tournament already. So I, I have nothing to lose. I'll just, I just uh, give my best and play hard every game, try to get comfortable positions. Uh, uh, motivation really is just to, just to play well. Uh, yeah, play some good chess. Mm. And uh, Wesley, we still don't know who you will face in the final. Do you sort of have someone you hope that will win this uh, semi-final match between Jan Nepomniac and Magnus Carlsen? Let's see. Ian has to draw, yeah? I mean, has to win the, the last game with Black. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't seem very likely, looking at the position. Uh, what do I hope? Yeah, I guess you'll always face Magnus every single time in the finals. Doesn't matter what tournament. Mm. And you did actually beat him, we know that very well, in the World Championship in Fisher Random Chess. Uh -huh. So do you, you feel confidence if it is Magnus Carlsen you will face? Yeah, if we, if we, if we play Chess 960, yeah, I feel very confident. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Wesley. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. yeah, you were saying. Yeah, yeah but I mean, uh, Chess and Chess 960 are just two completely different games because uh, Magnus uh, knows already the typical plans and typical setups and the uh, uh, typical maneuvers in basically every single opening. All right. Well, are you feeling fired up and looking forward to the finals in the Skilling Open? Yeah, I'm just very happy to be here. Uh, I'm still very happy to be here. Totally didn't expect it. Uh, it's always a great honor to face uh, Magnus in the match, especially in the finals. I think the last time I played in the Magnus Chester was back in July. And uh, I faced Magnus right away in the quarterfinals. Mm -hmm. So it was a very unlucky pairing and I didn't uh, move on. But it's, again, it's a great honor and a great pleasure to uh, face uh, powerful opponents like Magnus Carlsen and Hikaru Nakamura. So I hope to be able to put up a, put up a good fight, put up a worthy fight with uh, interesting games and hopefully I can, uh, I can trade blows with, with Magnus.
All right, Wesley. Well, that's one, one more question. Um, so, have your cats been watching the game? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Zanzibar. I'm Zanzibar. Yeah. Yeah, Zanzibar. Yeah, definitely. I think he's gotten used to it. I, I, uh, I sometimes leave the door open for him so he can come in and out. But he doesn't like it when when the doors are closed. But I think right now I've I've been playing for a week. I think he's he's uh, he's gotten used to it. Uh, I. So, but but he enjoys playing chess. He likes playing chess. And then the the very minute I open the door, he comes right in and checks everything that's happening. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, uh, Wesley, say hi to Sansibar from us, and good luck in the finals tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you so much. Be exciting. Thank you, Wesley.